So today I just thought I'd share a quick video with you about the, the new video doorbell using this old electromechanical um, type doorbell. Even these newer video doorbells that have the power module, I thought it would take care of the hum. As I'll show you here, I've taken care of the hum on this one. The first week I installed it on this wall, the hum was just driving me crazy. It was just loud. I actually moved the uh, front door to the rear door because it is a little bit more dampened here. But I'll show you the difference here um, that it makes just to put a 10 ohm resistor across where I got it tied in here. On this one in particular, it's across my transformer and my the rear door because I have uh, switched over to the rear until I got the resistor on there. So I apologize. It is some white noise from a dishwasher in the background, but it's not very loud. But if I take off this 10 ohm resistor, you'll hear how it was before. And even though you can see a little bit of the blur, you can't see it moving quite as much on video probably. So this one in particular, we have somewhere around uh, 1.7 to about 1.7 to 1.8 volts across as it goes through the video doorbell to power. So we are getting somewhere around 10% voltage on this coal and even though I don't think it's a big risk I don't really like something going back and forth that much just pulsing just all the time it's not terribly loud until everything's quiet and I put the cover back on and I may show a video here of the cover back on a little bit later hopefully I'll have that part in here where I'll just have the cover on and no other noise and let you hear it. With this being a hollow wall, just the interior hollow wall, it does make a big difference. So if we put our resistor back on here, our goal here is to drop that 1.7 or 1.8 volts down. And now we don't really have any movement. And now we're getting uh, less than a volt, around 0.8 volts. So that 10 ohm resistor has dropped that down enough where we don't get any hum or noise back on it. So I don't feel any hum or any movement, just a very, very slight vibration. And this is a, this is a 10 ohm half watt resistor. You could go with a little bit more power resistor, like a two watt resistor, but I haven't had any issues with this half watt because the half watt is plenty across just a two volt drop or so. If yours is more than that, then you might have to get a higher wattage or a little bit higher, maybe a 15 or 20 ohm resistor, depending on what your calculation is. But um, the voltage drop and wattage is fine at 1.8 volts or two volts or so. Just keep in mind when you do hit the button, it is putting a little bit more power across that resistor as it does put you 18 volts across. I will let you see on video that my doorbell does still work. But this is what I chose to do to fix the vibration or hum on my video doorbell. So hopefully it'll help you out. It'll get rid of some of the hum. If you like this video today about the hum on this video doorbell, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.